okay guys today uh, we will see uh, how time train delays uh, will be made so uh, just when we have uh, two data sets like a uh, year like this and also wha whatever data like uh, prevalence incidence like that so how to uh, how the time and uh, the data related with uh, the time we will make that so that this data comes from any software so uh, the data is presented from 1982 uh, up to 2020 and also the other is from uh, prevalence 8 up to the 41 so this is uh, arranged in increasing order that uh, uh, the time and the prevalence also arranged in increasing order so having just like this uh, data most of the time uh, researchers use for meta analysis to show the pre uh, the prevalence uh, how the prevalence is re related with the publication here so that uh, to do this we have to click uh, the prevalence and you have to uh, we make just like this and then uh, we have to click uh, insert then uh, we have to click line then make this like this so uh, you do after doing this one uh, we have to correct or modify so uh, if you want to change the color of the trend we have you can to change here like this and uh, after this uh, the data is here so that uh, it is expected to us to give the time trend here to do that you have to click here and select select data then you have to in horizontal axis labels you have to click edit then after this we have to uh, do just like this and uh, we have blinking here uh, up to 2020 so we can we can click ok then also double ok so the time is here arranged the time is arranged here so that the two things are uh, related to the time and the, the data is related here so after this uh, we can um, manage or modify the design so that to select the design click here and select for instance there is levels above below left and right side so that click this one uh, so we can get just like this then uh, we can change the name here for instance the prevalence can be uh, change it by saying uh, time trend analysis time trend analysis like this and also this axis title is also we can uh, we can say uh, the prevalence of the prevalence of any occurrence any occurrence so here we can say the prevalence of any occurrence here so that uh, at the bottom there is also label uh, as is here if it is meta analysis we can say publication year uh, or otherwise we can say only uh, year on, uh, you can say year here but if it is meta analysis we can say publication here so that uh, seems like this so this software can be copied and uh, we can take with any like microsoft word or whatever meta analysis we can use just like this also the design also uh, can be changed uh, like this trend and uh, everything can be analyzed so that uh, the graph is seems like this thank you very much